Our next comedian, he's a, he's a gentle soul. He's here to make you guys laugh for at least 15 minutes. Please, everyone, put your hands together for Mr. Chelsea Rice!
caramel brown Hispanics and Middle Easterns from Lawrenceville. <laughs> and you come to shop a luxurious chocolate black people from Decatur. <laughs> and you sprinkle the top down with all kinds of fruits and nuts from Midtown. You know? <laughs> White folk nougat, for some reason, we start making money and they want to move north to Gainesville or something, you know? Let's go where the chickens are. Yeah. You know, guys, I'm mean, really enjoying this you know, warmer weather now. You guys getting out and enjoying the warm weather finally after that winter we had? I mean, who, who all got stranded in the winter storm, the ice storm? Anybody, anybody get stranded, had to ditch your car like I did? Yeah, I had to ditch mine, but I, was, I didn't have to leave it on an expressway. Then. I just I was able to get off the road and park it in the parking lot and walk. It was funny because I got out of the car, locked it up, and you know, one of the, the bad part was when I had to pee because I got stuck in traffic. I was stuck in one place for like four hours. And I had to pee, but I wasn't going like everybody else, you know, just jumping out, dropping trial in the middle of the street. No, I wasn't doing that. I got scruples, people. <laughs> Fortunately, I had a coffee can in the car. <laughs> so I straight went commando. But I gotta tell you, you guys can relate to this. You know, you never really hate your penis until you have that major trouble trying to pee in a coffee can in a sitting position. <laughs> coffee can trying to pee in it and drive at the same time. I look like a circus animal trying to juggle. <laughs> right? So anyway, I got out, got out there and finally got in you know, a car parked and I'm walking in this ice in the middle of the night. It's like 9 o'clock at night, pitch black, you know, well, snow, ice everywhere. I'm walking down the street, you know, and all of a sudden it was so surreal, it was quiet, nothing going on, no cars. And all of a sudden I hear this car pull up and say, hey, would you like a ride? Look around like a Shock man, is this white couple just offered me a ride here? You know, it's, they were like, How far you live? I'm just, I mean, I live maybe a few miles up. You would, would you like a ride? And I'm thinking, like, Sure. But in the back of my head, I'm thinking, I watched a lot of porn back in the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I know how these situations turn out. <laughs> Sir, I'd like to sit in the back if I may. <laughs> you know how it turns out. Well, hello there, random Negro. <laughs> My wife and I just happened to be naked. We saw you out here standing up in the snow with no pants on. To have a party. We don't mind if I do. Yeah, that's how I've got seen it. I always end up circling. Yeah, man. I am um, actually uh, a type 1 diabetic. Anyone in here diabetic, diabetic, or know anyone diabetic? I'm, I'm not accusing, I'm just asking questions. <laughs> Somebody wrote up, what are you trying to say? <laughs> no, I mean, I've been type 1 for like 20 years, uh, insulin dependent. And diabetes is a cruel disease, but you know, it, it doesn't get enough attention simply because, in my opinion, because we don't have any cool spokespeople. You know, like other diseases like cancer, because you know, a lot of you guys are older, you remember the days like John Wayne and Steve McQueen, you know, just really tough guys dealing with cancer. And, working their way through it. And, but you know, we don't have any cool spokespeople with diabetes. I mean, who we got, Wilfred Brimley? <laughs> yeah. I saw the lady just get a little pillow of sweat when I said Wilfred Brimley. It's like, ooh. <laughs> Nobody goes, ooh, for Wilfred Brimley. Right? I remember when I first saw Wilfred Brimley talking about, I got diabetes, burp, 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 check the sugar. I was like, I'm going to be Tom Wilfred Brimley? I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna turn the old fat white man on a horse. This is like, what? You know? And it's like, you get guys like Lance Armstrong. This was long before, you know, this old cheating scandal and all that stuff. You know, Lance was like, he was a man. You know, Seven Tour de Francis, right? Just, a, just dating hot women like Cheryl Crow with one ball. <laughs> one ball. And Cheryl went in knowing. He had one ball and stuck around. Now, and that pissed me off. It's like I got two perfectly good functioning balls, but 
I gotta hide in the bushes with a baseball bat and a bag of roofies to snag a woman like Cheryl. <laughs> Alright folks, my name is Chelsea Wright, you guys have been great, thank you.